Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're coming at you with a mystery box off of eBay. Um, before we get into it, just wanted to announce we've got a couple videos coming up in the next few days as well. Uh, we'll have Wild Survivors as the next booster set coming out here on 6-2 uh, is the release date for the set. So probably this weekend uh, we'll see the video go live. And then we've got another uh, bigger mystery box coming up in the next couple days as well. Uh, probably after Wild Survivors goes live. Uh, but this mystery box came off of eBay, and you know we're fans of mystery boxes here. Uh, I picked this up for $30 um, and about $5 worth of shipping at the time, so we're in for about $35. Bucks. Uh, as of now, it's dropped down. The listing, I think, I just checked a little bit ago, is about $27.50. So the seller's bringing it down. It's got five packs, one of which is a legacy pack. Uh, it says it's a reprint of a legacy pack, so hopefully that means it's one of our favorite sets, either Legends of Blue Eyes, Battle Raider, Spell Ruler, etc., um, and not something that's legacy pack like Cybernetic Horizon or something uh, in that sense. But got that, and then it's got 50 foil, or not foil, 50 just random cards, assorted cards in it, uh, 25 of which are foils, um, and then there's supposed to be at least one uh, secret rare in there uh, but no guarantees of any specific cards and then a couple other mystery items i think there's a guaranteed die in there um one of the little jumbo die that you get with all the like um legendary duelist sets or hidden arsenal or any of those things that came out and, and then two other mystery items so we're in it for about 35 bucks we love mystery packs um, obviously you never expect anything, you know, to get your money back or anything, uh, but good as a price point to see. We'll compare it to, uh, the next mystery set. I think you guys will like the next one in particular. I think it's going to be really awesome. Um, but we'll get into it, see what we get. Um, five packs for sure. So we're looking, you know, if we just go based on pack value, we're looking at about $7 a pack. So that's a little, little steep, but it's the fun and the mystery that we're all here for. We don't want to cut too much. This thing is is full. So we'll tear into it. All right, this is packaged like this. So pull that to the side. Well, we'll just look at it first. So we've got what looks to be, I'm guessing this is our mystery items in a Ziploc bag, so that's unique. We got a little Dark Magician figure. He's uh, squatting a bit on us here. So we can set him off to the side for some good luck. And he doesn't stand upright, so he's, uh, he's having a rough day. We've all been there. We've got the Dark Magical Circle uh, die as well. Don't remember where that came out from, but we'll add that to our collection and then uh we've got oh it says bonus items and die if you can read that on the the bag in sharpie and then we got a mako tsunami card which is in a nice little sleeve little top loader as well so we'll add that to the the pile on the side all right and we've got tightly packed in here these are going to be 50 cards it says written there nice and ink pen for us we'll look at those and then these are going to be our packs, tightly bound with some cardboard for us. So, I mean, they're they're held together. Well, well they're held together, right? <laughs> we can say that. It's definitely one of the movies of all time. But let's uh, we'll go through these. I don't expect anything spectacular out of these in in terms of anything. They said there's going to be some good variety. We'll see what we get. Gonna get 25, you know, commons. Gonna knock you guys over first, give you a little little earthquake action. See what we what we pull out of here. Just chuck this to the side. Alright, what we got going on? So we got dark mimic level three. Everything was supposed to be in near mint or light play condition. I'll let you guys judge that as well. So we got dark mimic level three. Here, we got Invader of Darkness as a secret rare from Invasion of Chaos. We got Mimicking Man-Eater Bug. 
We got Rookie Warrior Lady, so these are all of our foils. We got Rock's Rose Dragon. Dark Necro Fear, that's that blue text one. We got Songa of Thunder from Metal Raiders. Shell Knight. Came from Ghost from the Past 2. We got Black Luster Soldier from Starter uh, Yugi, the Evolved version. And so that came off of, I think it was called Evolved or Evolution, Ebon High Magician. We got Quintet Magician from Ghost from the Past 2. We got Dinomorphia Kinteragina from Battles of Chaos. Dinomorphia Stealth Bergia. Same set. Deco Talker Heat Soul from Ghost from the Past 2. Elemental Heroes Neos Kluger. We got Amulet Dragon. We got Gate Guardian of Water and Thunder. That's from Maze of Memories. We got Fossil Machine Skull Wagon from Ghost from the Past 2. Fossil Warrior Skull Knight from Ghost from the Past 2. So a lot of Skull, uh, Ghost from the Past 2, right? Skull Buggy is from there as well. Ghost from the Past 2, Skull Convoy. Fossil Fusion was in Ghost from the Past 2. Dark Magic Veil from Movie Pack 1. And then Wild Nature Release. Big Burns, a common. The Petite Moth from Metal Raiders. Light Play would be a understatement there. That's a basically a meme card though. Cocoon of Evolution. Gotta have both of them. Wing Karibo. We got Elemental Hero Bubble Man. Spark Man. Speed Duel cards here. We got Wing Sage Falcos. I'll put that with a rare. We got Des Dindle. We got Manga Ryu Ran. In a uh, Decent, decent condition. Dimension Conjurer. Mirage Dragon, first edition. From Rise of the Duelist. Harpy Lady 1. So these are, these are, you know, they're in for the first edition cards. We've got Manju from IOC, Elemental Hero Electrum. Miracle Fusion. Just some common. Skyscraper, we got Fifth Hope. Skyscraper again. Change of Heart. Back from my old starter deck, Yugi. This thing has seen some play, hasn't it? Magical Mallet. First edition of Magical Mallet, but it's seen some play. We got a starter deck, Yugi Dark Hole. We got Noble Man of Extermination from Pharaoh's Servant. Seen some better than a light play. The starter deck, Pegasus Ultimate Art Offering, and then Pyramid of Light. Has uh, seen itself some some better days, for sure. But let's uh, jump into our packs, see what we get. Again, you never expect to get anything in those random allotment of cards, but it's fun to see see what people throw in there. Some decent throwback cards. All right, got some cardboard for you guys. All right, we've got a Metal Raiders pack. So that's going to be our legacy pack, I guess. It's the 25th anniversary edition, so it's the reprint. We got Flames of Destruction, so we can get Imperm. We got Rage of Raw, we can get that Ghost Rare Raw, so we'll open that second to last. Synchro Storm, and then Cybernetic Horizon. I think I made a joke about Cybernetic Horizon being our legacy pack. So we'll start with Cybernetic Horizon, because we can get Baron out of Synchro Storm. We got Drag Unity. We've got Universal Adapter, we've got Zero Extra Link, we got Crusadia Vanguard, and Vorticular Drum Drumgon is our uh and then we've got a uh, Performer Pal Goldfang and Goki Tag Partner, Crusadia Reclusia, and Crusadia Leonis. Let's look at Synchro Storm. Not expecting a lot. This was a terrible pack. Speed Lift, High Speed Roid Chanbara, Lyra Lusk Turquoise Warbler, Speed Roid Taketo Tomborg, and Synchro Dilemma. Flames of Destruction, give us that Imperm. All right, we got Mamamaki, 
We got Elemental Saber, Malo, Restoration of the Monarchs. We got Palace of the Elemental Lords, non-guaranteed ultra rare. Set that aside, that's a good pull. We got Trickstar, Delphindium, Cybersoul Cyclone, Crystal Master, Waking the Dragon, and Flower Cardian, Moonflower Viewing. Ghost Rare Raw, anybody? Would be an absolute hit off of a uh, mystery box for sure. We got Juragato, we got Mind Control, Mech Lord Astro Dragon Asterisk, Mech Lord Emperor Granil, and Cyber Energy Shock. Did not get it. Still have not got any Ghost Rares. And then we got Metal Raiders. We can get that Ultra Rare Time Wizard. Seems to be one of our common denominators here. We got Yado Karu. We've got Little Swordman of Ale. Blue Wing Crown. Dark Elf as a rare. And then Harpy Lady Sisters as a super rare. As decent artwork. I like the hollow pattern on that. Bottom Dweller. Ryukishin Powered. Blast Juggler. Larvae Moth. Wraps us out to end our packs. So that was our mystery box. $35 with shipping total on it. Uh, and we got one non-guaranteed ultra rare in Palace of the Elemental Lords. Uh, so, yeah, not, not necessarily the worst of all the hits. Uh, not necessarily the greatest. Got a little cool Dark Magician guy um, who doesn't stand up on his own. But we'll put him there in the center. He's taking a squat. Uh, we got, obviously, Wild Survivors coming out. We've got another mystery box you guys will enjoy. I appreciate you guys stopping in. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. You guys take care. See ya.